Okay, so it is Thursday, March 24th, 2022. We're in Paris, France, but the Eiffel Tower in the background. France, Paris. Um, today we are doing a boat tour on some river. I don't know the name of it, but we're going, we're going, we're going sightseeing on a river today. And we're joined by 56, I believe, rugby cats. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> go cat. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the, you know, the monuments and, you know. Like, the, wh what monument in, spe in specific? Uh, I, hope we, I hope we see uh, Notre Dame and it getting, you know, re uh, renovated. After yeah. Yeah. That fire. Checked out the Mona Lisa. I thought that was pretty cool, but I think the highlight was definitely seeing the crown jewels. That was that was pretty dope. Uh, and then we saw um, the Arc de Carousel. I think that's how you say it. Took a group photo there. It was very beautiful, very picturesque. Um, spent some times in the gardens. Uh, saw some goats. That was pretty cool. Uh, and now we're heading off to practice for our games. Uh, coaches, 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 let's get on the same page. AJ, AJ, let's just get on the same page just so we know. One of the big priorities for today is really to get that U16 group together so that they know what they're doing, line out, scrum, because they've never played together before. Um, we'll take the A side and let them have some time with that. So I would say we would prob we'll probably go regular re warm up routine until. 3.45, then 3.45 to 4.15, about a half an hour of just like team type work. That's one of the great things about rugby is that uh, being an international sport, uh, you know, you could go pretty much anywhere in the world and find a rugby team to play. So we're super excited to be able to bring our kids over here to experience the culture and then find opponents from, from other countries and, and see what it's like across the pond. Great, great, great. Yeah, sorry guys, we don't have enough cones that we can set up these in advance. Okay. Okay, here we go. Standard 70. Standard is 70. Ready? Set. Well, they got to take responsibility for that, right? So traditionally, European kids, they've grown up with the sport since they were six years old, so their handling skills are going to be really good. Their, their game decisions are going to be really good. Their kicking skills are going to be excellent. Uh, obviously, Americans are well aware of just the fascination with football in Europe. And we're, we're talking about the, the round one, not the oblong one. So with that, um, I think that our kids will be a little bit behind just in terms of decision-making skills and handling skills, but it'll be great for us to be exposed to this. Magner, grab your cone. Those are out of the grid now. Connor, right to me, please. Connor, get it to me. Right here, you put yours down right here. All right, Co uh, Coglin here, there you go. So now we've got one, two. Yes, yeah, so I, I think like most immediately these guys will look back and think of, wow, what a cool experience it was that when I was in high school, I got to tour abroad. Uh, and hopefully they'll make some contacts that will last the rest of their lives. I'm sure they'll remember uh, this experience. Let's take your right leg out to the side, point your toes forward, and then take a big step forward with your hands. Shoulders towards the fingertips, full breath in, sink your hips into the ground. On the exhale, reach the hips back towards your left foot. Good, now shift your right toes up towards the sky. And slowly walk your hands so the hands straddle the right leg. So your right hand's gonna be on the outside, the left hand's on the inside of the leg. Flex the right toes towards your face. Keep moving your body forward and backwards to your own tempo. Uh, one reason for that is because it took 200 years for the residents of Paris to build it. So what happens over time is that uh, architectural um, things people like 
they, they change, right? It's just like uh, fashion or haircuts or uh, what you're allowed to wear in school. It changes over time. So um, originally the, the towers of Notre Dame were designed so that they were going to come to a peak at the top right there. But uh, that fell out of favor, so it is what we see today. Originally the, um, the back side right there, you would have seen a big green spire. That's, this is the part that caught on fire two years ago. And that was added by Viollet le Duc in the 19th century. So Notre Dame essentially was built between like 1150 and 1350 AD. So you're looking at something that's 900-ish years old. So today we visited the Latin quarters, uh, Notre Dame. Uh, we went down to the canal as well. And we just finished up with uh, La Palace de Justice, which is where uh, they would have a lot of their trials back in the old days. And we uh, cop some berets, and I think we're about to grab some grub. So it's been a great morning. We play scuff later, so uh, it's our first for three clubs. Can you dig it? Yeah! Can you dig it? Yeah! Can you dig it? Yeah! Warriors, go out to play! Get in, stop it, get low! Bend on, get in there! Stop that, use it. Take it Come out! Go, go! Come on, you gotta come on. It was a tough game playing an opponent like um, overseas. They play a lot different game, more ball in hand, more wide ball, a lot quicker. But what we brought to the table was power. We brought muscle, which I think is something they're kind of new to. We got a lot of football guys, offensive linemen. We got Joey George's, Pat Lavelle. And I think it just kind of threw them off their game a little bit. They're used to more speed, quicker hands, and we just brought it to them with some power. With the gold and blue, you're the best thing that we ever knew. You got what it takes to win this game. Honor to your name. Rah, rah, rah. Fight you, Warriors, and Wildcat High. Sporting club, you kiss and match goodbye. On the old, we got a blue and gold team. Now we fight to victory. Woo! That's our, our club rugby ball that we're presenting to school for, for the matches today. Thank you so much. Uh, which on the back in lasers is uh, in recognition of the matches played between Scoof and Sitting Ages High School of Cleveland, Ohio, this 26th day of March 2022. So for your clubhouse as well. Yes, oh. Or loads of a match, but come here. Oh, okay. C'est pour le 12. C'est voilà, Alex Peton, il n'est pas là. Tu lui donnes Tu le prends, tu prends, tu le 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 pr
was the stained glass windows and how they were each donated by like a certain trade. Like there was like the blacksmiths and uh, the cobblers and stuff like that. So I found that really interesting. I also found out that the front facing wall uh, is the blue uh, colors made out of the cobalt. So I thought that, I also thought that was really cool. We're at the Chateau de Chambord and saw a lot of pretty cool things you could see. It's a really big castle and in my opinion it's way too big for people to be living in it. There's a lot of cool tapestries and like quilts and stuff from back there. There's like this one really huge room in there. There were like a ton of like hunter's buttons that were collected and a dude like donated them. I have no idea why he had them but it's a pretty big castle and I got lost with Mikey like three times. So. They were physical. Uh, you know, we expected them to be much better than the last team we played. We came in. You know, they're smart. We're smart. They kicked. We kicked. Uh, their second half finishers. They were. They were killer. They were dominant. Their front row. They gave a good push. Much better than the first half. So. Uh, so yeah. I mean, they were, they were a really good team. So, I mean, we knew going into this game that uh, we're, more, we're the most physical team uh, here in France. You know, this, this might be the best team, but now we're the best team in France. So, uh, we're, we're, we're out, we're throwing in, uh, we hit the mall, and their kids all are trying to stop us. I mean, there's no stopping, there's no stopping our forwards. I mean, uh, we'll just, we just baby them. Oh my God, that was, there was penalty after penalty after penalty on us. Uh, you know, they were scrumming down, they were pushing us, we were pushing them back. Uh, it, was, it was so neck and neck and then, luckily our defense puts on so much pressure. You know, Marty comes up so fast every time and as soon as they get the ball out, we're finally able to smoke them, cause, cause them to mess up.
Now you blue and gold team out for two victory.